Okay. To answer your question, let's recall that when we turn to the when if we measure the angle in the anticlockwise, that angle is positive. If we measure the angle in the clockwise, that angle is negative. Basically. Now, this means that for this interval from negative 180 up to positive 180, we shall break it into two. The first interval starts from negative 180 up to zero, which is this one here. And the second interval starts from zero up to 180, which is that one there. So, if we find an angle here, you get the point? All those angles, we shall read that angle in the clockwise in order for it to fit in this interval and it will have a negative angle, a negative value. If we find the angle in this quadrant, we shall also read it in the similar way, so that it will also have a negative value. You get the point? So it means the other angle, which is big enough, that one can remain there, we can measure it the, the, the usual way, because for it, it will lie in that quadrant, and definitely this angle here will be the easiest to measure, which will happen to be, in that quadrant. So basically, it's just about the uh, direction in which you are recording that given angle. So for this specific interval, which which tends to be hectic, this is how you can handle. Read the, because try to bring out the negative angles and the positive angles. This one is also, because from negative 180 up to positive 180, that is 360 degrees. It would be similar if you are dealing with the interval from 0 up to 360 degrees, these are the similar angles that you have, but you are just reading them in a different way. Thank you.